Hello. So today we're going to do some cling wrap. Like, what if you don't know what I'm talking about? It's this um, what we call saran wrap, but it's cling wrap that you get from the supermarket. And we're going to do a texture. This is going to be an easy, easy way to add texture to your acrylic. What, you know, your mixed media paintings. So I'm going to use a yellow as my base, but I'm going to do it like only half. So I want you to see how this is affected by just a gessoed board and a, an over acrylic. And we're going to do a darker color. But this is, um, these are Amsterdam paints, and this one is called Permanent, I don't know what that, how you pronounce, oh, Permanent Blue Violet. <laughs> Excuse me, my eyes are bad. Oh, bad. Yeah, an artist with bad eyes. Um, so anyway, and this is also Azo Yellow Medium. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not... I'm not too worried about the streaks because we're going to be covering over this with the purple, but I want to get a nice coat. And I'm going to leave half the board with plain gesso. Now this is just a, a gesso art board. I get it on Amazon. So we're going to let that dry. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I want to let you know what I'm up to these days. So I'm planning to start doing two videos a week. One on Tuesday will always be a tip. We'll call them tiny tips. That's what you're watching today. Then on Thursday will be my more long form content where I'm doing jelly printing and collage work, things that take a little bit longer, somewhere like in the 15 minute range. But these tips will be shorter videos and always on a Tuesday. So I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel so you can get some mixed media tips to your acrylic paint and possibly some other kinds of tips like gold leafing some art resin tips we'll cover art supplies and i will show you my favorite tools to use okay i think this is dry so we are going to put some purple. This is, like I said, this is called Permanent Blue Violet. I'm going to put on more because I think for this technique we really need to have a decent amount of paint on the board and we want to do this when it's still wet. So what I like to do is lay it down into a single layer and then kind of push it around so that we get these wrinkles. And you don't always, it doesn't always work. Sometimes you get a real mess if you move it around too much. So let's just leave it alone. And then we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so let's see what turned out. I don't... You don't want to wait until the paint dries, but you do want it to sort of set in. Now here we got really subtle texture. Okay, so let's try something else that will give us more, I think it'll show up more. And again, we're gonna do the same thing as before. Okay, so let's try something different. I'm going to mix a little bit of this purple paint from Amsterdam called uh, Permanent Blue Violet. And we're going to mix it with a golden acrylic glazing liquid. So this will help to make it a little bit more transparent. And my yellow is not fully dry yet. Okay, so here it goes. Now this will make it, the glazing liquid makes it a little bit more transparent and hopefully we will get a little bit more detail. And while this is still 
wet, we want to lay down the cling wrap. Now you have to lift it before that paint gets a chance to dry. But sometimes I find if you lift it too soon, that also doesn't work. So it's kind of like, I don't know, sometimes I just do a quick peek and see what's happening. Now I think it works better on the gesso, to be perfectly honest with you. But either way, with the glaze, we had a better result. Of course, the, the yellow and the purple are complementary colors, and so we have a little brown going on on the top. So you do have to choose your colors carefully. And you do want a more transparent color on the, the one that you're doing the cling wrap on. Now look at how much more detail we have in here than we do on this one. But both of them, both colors, we got a better result with the acrylic glazing liquid. So that's it for today. I hope this tip will help you add some texture to your mixed media work. See you next time. Bye-bye.